What's going on guys, this is Brandon coming at you with a new PS4 video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix the error, cannot start the PS4. Uh, this is also known as the safe mode loop. And I'm going to go into a few options to tell you how to fix it. So I'm just going to jump right in. What you're going to want to do is make sure your PS4 is completely off. Hold down the power button until you hear two beeps. That's one beep. Two beeps. So this should now start up your PS4 and it'll say connect the DualShock 4 using USB cable, press the PlayStation button. You want to make sure that your PS4 controller is plugged in using the USB cable that came with your PS4 or another one that transfers data. So you want to press the PlayStation button. And this menu will pop up. In order to fix this uh, error, you want to pretty much try all these options until it's fixed. So restart the PS4, change this one you don't have to do, update system software, you can try this one. Go in here, press X on this one. What you want to do here is update using the internet. Because a lot of times this error is just from an update error and this will patch in the latest update that PS4 has and this should help the problem. If not, you can try also the next ones. You can try also number four, restore default settings. This will just restore some values such as uh, maybe your headset settings or your controller settings, maybe your internet. This stuff you'll have to put back in, but other than that, it shouldn't affect anything else. Uh, rebuild database. This th this one, I think everybody should do this on a regular basis as it clears out a lot of the memory and uh, cache that you have using other resources. And it usually speeds up your PS4 performance and will help it out in the long run. And this may help this error and it may not, but you want to try it and just make sure. Uh, if none of these, none if no other options work, you want to try number six, initialize PS4. Unfortunately, this will unfortunately this will reset any of your data that you have, uh, all your games and progress. But you can log on to your Sony account and re-download all your games. Uh, for save files, I'd recommend just to make sure that's backed up to the cloud. And in order to do this, you need PS Plus and make sure the option is checked in the options. And number seven, similar to number six, uh, this will initialize the PS4 and reinstall all system software. So it would be similar to what it is out of the box the day you bought it. Uh, I will go through these one by one to, make, to try to limit this one. But uh, one of these fixes should fix their... Uh, can I start the PS4? So that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please leave a comment and like and let me know if this helped you out. And I'll see you in the next one.